Welcome everyone to GamerMill. Today we've got a huge leak on Intel's upcoming CPUs. AMD's RX 6000 series cache system gets confirmed, and the first RX 6000 die tells us something big. Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, we have a huge new story that comes from Notebook Check on a ton of Intel's upcoming CPUs. According to them, the information comes from their OEM sources, which is certainly a trustworthy source, but as things can change and they're still unnamed, take it with a bit of skepticism. Either way, let's get to it. Starting things off, we have Intel's Tiger Lake H series of processors, which as we've essentially verified already, comes with 8 CPU cores. And given we've seen some impressive performance from Intel's 4-core ultra-low power chips, their 8-core parts are set to give AMD's Ryzen 4000 a serious run for its money. The new parts include up to 32 execution units and are based on the 10 nanometer Willow Cove core. Tiger Lake H also supports 3200 DDR4 RAM up to 128GB, 20 PCI Express Gen 4 lanes, and 24 Gen 3 lanes from the PCH controller. Next is Alder Lake S, which will be Intel's upcoming desktop CPUs that will finally be built on their 10 nanometer process. Remember that Alder Lake comes with Intel's version of ARM's big dot little design, with powerful big cores and more efficient, not as powerful little cores. According to this, Alder Lake S comes with up to 8 big cores and 8 little cores for a total of 16 at 125 watts. Not only that, but it'll feature up to 32 EUs as well as support for 128GB of DDR5 memory. On top of that, it comes with support for 16 lanes of PCI Express 5.0, 20 Gen 4 lanes, and 12 Gen 3 lanes. At the end of the day, if Intel can get this out by late next year, AMD could have a tough time competing. Then again, with only 8 big cores on heavily threaded workloads, Intel could have some serious issues. And with AMD set to release their 5 nanometer base Zen 4 around that time, Intel does have a pretty big mountain to climb. Let's just say it's set to be a serious fight. And of course, while talking about all this sweet hardware, why not learn the deeper side of tech with today's sponsor, Brilliant, the online learning tool that teaches you the concepts behind your tech. And with a focus on math, science, and computer science, they're the best place to learn computing. What's even better is that their educators come from great backgrounds like MIT, Duke, and more. The best thing, though, is that it's easy to learn. Brilliant actually teaches you the concepts by showing you, so anyone can learn. And they've got courses for beginners and experts alike. We're talking from the fundamentals to artificial networks and even quantum computing. So what are you waiting for? Learn the deeper side of hardware at brilliant.org slash gamermeld. And the first 200 people who visit the link get 20% off your annual premium today. Next up for today, if you follow the channel, you know that most of the recent rumors and leak for AMD's upcoming RX 6000 series, or at least their higher end variants, have a really small memory bus relative to their rumored performance. And that's certainly odd, given they're set to still use GDDR6. Remember that Nvidia and Micron basically developed all new memory just to feed the power of their high-end RTX 3000 GPUs, and it seems to be a big cause of it needing that fancy cooler. Basically, if AMD has a hope of competing, the bus width made little sense. That is, until rumors began servicing of a new cache system with Big Navi. Basically, it would sport a huge amount of cache to compensate for the low memory bandwidth. Well, in a new story by Video Cards, it looks like they've actually confirmed it. Now, in the most recent rumors, it was called the Infinity Cache, yet Video Cards states that internally it hasn't been called that, at least until now. Originally found and shared by Momomo underscore US, you can see that AMD recently filed a trademark with Justia for just that name. Unfortunately, the trademark doesn't give us much, but given we have the Infinity Fabric and Video Cards has confirmed that Big Navi will feature a special cache connected to their memory subsystem, it seems pretty obvious this is likely it. But of course, who really cares what they call it? As of now, it's essentially confirmed that it is AMD's answer to GDDR6X. Let's just hope that means they need it because Big Navi is so powerful. Lastly for today, in an exclusive from the channel Cortex, it looks like we finally have a picture of Big Navi's die. Now, obviously this looks kind of odd, but Cortex apparently created this image to protect the leaker that sent him the actual die, so he removed any identifying markings and even switched out the caps. 
Regardless, the main thing here is that he maintained the same die size. As you can see, he claims that it measures 536 millimeters squared. Wow. You That's make a big feel one. Which is huge. In fact, if this is correct, it's more than double the size of AMD's RX 5700 series. That obviously means the rumors suggesting Big Navi gets up to 80 CUs is very much likely. Though of course, they have to add hardware for ray tracing, so we shall see. This also shows that we are in fact dealing with GDDR6 memory instead of say HBM2E like some rumors have suggested. Still, as we saw in the last story, Big Navi likely doesn't need HBM memory. At the end of the day though, all I hope for is that it stays in stock. Really, even if Big Navi is slightly slower than the 3080 and at the same price, AMD could still have a huge hit if they have enough GPUs. Simply put, Nvidia dropped the ball. But of course, time, as always, will tell. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for next gen Navi? And if so, which tier card do you think you'll get? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.